So what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, that's $150,000. It's sort of, uh, the redneck term would be sort of peed in the wind, peeing in the wind. So the phone rang. I don't answer telephone. But Dan said, you got a, got a phone call coming. It ain't a good one. Yeah. The taco's burning up. Come again? The tricot's burning up. I said, well, what are you talking about? Burning up, put the fire out. He said, I've tried, but I can't get it. Old Jimmy Red Gibson. The tricot's burning up, <clears throat> and I can't put the fire out. I'm like, hmm. Miss K, you got insurance on that trico? Well, I don't know. Uh, someone else got the insurance, but I think the time ran out on it. I don't know whether I updated that or not. She said, I think you have liability in case Jimmy Red dies while he's running it. They can't sue us. I mean, the insurance pay for it. All right, a few minutes goes by. Red sends a picture of it burning. It's kind of a rude phone call, if you know what I'm saying. So, life is short and full of trouble. But on the grand scheme of things, I said, Red, I said, as soon as Jay heard about the trico burning up, Jay said, well, it's like, uh, you're probably gonna hear something like this. You know, I got off of it after I used it and walked over and sat down. And next thing I know, <laughs> That's what Jay said Red would be saying. I said, that's pretty well verbatim. How'd it burn up? Well, I was using it. You see all this debris, all these tree root wads, all these trees that are on the ground. That's from the hurricane. The hurricane come up through here and it knocked down hundreds of trees. There are trees, but a lot of them ended up 75, 80, 100 mile an hour wind. Two, two hurricanes in a row, three weeks apart. And it blew down hundreds and hundreds of trees. And a lot of money went with them. So we're out here trying to clean up all of this debris. We're about a mile and a half from the closest road. So it's down here in the middle of the woods and trees are just all over the ground in every direction. The squirrels and the deer have been through a pretty good dilemma because they thinking, whoa. So all the animals scattered in every direction. <clears throat> and I'm just down here surveying the carnage. But what I didn't expect after about one just came through here yesterday, it angled off, barely missed us, hit New Orleans, but it dropped quite a bit of rain, so we're down here just assessing the damage that's been done. It'll take us a while. I'll have to uh, come up with another machine. 
as far as the Chico goes, as it turns out. Somebody got a good price on a Chico, give me a call. I think this one's done. About all I can say is trouble. Life's short and full of troubles. We'll suck it up and keep going. It'll pass. Now we get into the salvage mode. Salvage, salvage mode. We'll come out of it. Old Red keeps his job. I wouldn't fire a man over it. <laughs>